Valley, we reached Portugal, we are in a beach and today we will start another adventure by Climate Caravan. We are with us Tiago Gallo, Zero CO2 Partners by Ariana Tejo. Hi Tiago, how are you? Welcome to Portugal, welcome to Elvis. Thank you, thank you very much. As you can see by yourself, Tiago joined us uh, with us in, in the caravan, in the Climate Caravan and today and right now, he will show us what we are going to do here in this school. Okay, so let's go. Let's go, Diego. Les sur et rien ne veut changer dans mes rêves préconçus. Je me suis laissé aller, mais mon désir incertain. So here we are. This is the pavilion of the school of Abish, and we are going to promote some activities with the students in this uh, area. So uh, within the partnership, the municipality of Abish has made a partnership with the school and uh, we have many activities to be uh, done by the, the students uh, over here during the afternoon of today and the morning of tomorrow. Uh, we will have an exhibition where we are going to explain to the students what the project is all about and what is climate change and the importance of renewable energies and then a few games to, for them to have a knowledge of some things uh, related to energy and environment. Good morning, first of all, thank you very much to us, the Climate Caron here in this very, very nice school. We are extremely happy to stay here in North Avish and extremely thankful for your, for your life. Can you give us some information concerning the school, so how much pupils study each year? 460, more or less. So 460 pupils in the school. Well, uh, in general, how many people live in a beach? 5,000 habitants. Yeah. 5,000 in habitants. So the school serves not only a beach, but uh, I suppose the rest of the, the area, so other municipality. Serve as localidades todas à volta. Then several uh, other small places around the village of a beach. Okay. How old are the students uh, study here in school? Desde os 3 aos 15, 16. From okay. first cycles, uh, three year olds uh, to 15 year olds. What do you expect for, from the climate caravan and what we are doing here? What are your expectations? So, uh, the, the first uh, preoccupation is that this is a different approach, and uh, the school hopes that the students can get a different perspective from environmental and climate change issues. Uh, besides, they have some classes related to, to environment and also the Eco Schools Club, but this is a different uh, approach that uh, uh, creates an expectative to, to get the results.